welcome to graduate school coffee naps edition i have two exams this week tomorrow is chem phys and thursday is physiology i'm a student who works best in the morning however there's just a lot of material to go over and i also find that if i don't review things with other people that i usually miss a couple of the things that we're going to be tested on but I got up at like four this morning accidentally. I'm not the 3.30 a.m. morning vlogs girl, even though I love her content. So to get a little bit more mileage out of this little brain here, we're gonna do a coffee nap. If I do a cup of coffee, which is about 95 milligrams of caffeine and take a 20 minute nap, I will be a little bit more energized both from the rest and from the caffeine. I also have to remember the half-life of caffeine. It's about like four to six hours, it, the half-life being after X amount of time, this much substance is still in the system. Anyway, so I usually try to stop drinking caffeine around noon, but because I'm doing a study group this evening with my friends, I'm gonna do like 80 milligrams of caffeine with this V8 Energy, which I'm not sponsored by yet, but I love you guys. It's like a green tea energy drink. It's got 80 milligrams of caffeine. Always remember to time your naps around sleep cycles though. So if you're doing a short nap, don't sleep more than like 25 minutes or else you're gonna get into a deeper sleep cycle and you're gonna wake up actually feeling groggy. If you're doing night shift stuff, try to time around sleep cycles, like about an hour and a half per sleep cycle. So I would try to wake up at the end of a sleep cycle instead of in the middle of a sleep cycle if you're doing night shift work. Cheers.